Well, hello, Lucinda. Hi. It's good to see you. I want good to see you too. Always good to see you. I wanted to um, have this little Zoom, you and I together, to share a little more about your experience when um, we had our mini sessions together. Um, it's a little taste of boudoir, but I felt that your experience was fairly transformational. And I, I wanted to be able to share that with the, the community of women who could really benefit from something, something like this too. So I wanted to ask you first, because I'm doing these uh, lingerie fittings a little differently this year. And I wanted you to share a little bit what that experience was like. And um, we can just start with that. So let's, let's get going. Well, um, I would say that um, it was a safe space. I felt very safe, both physically um, with all the curtains. And I also felt very safe with the company that was there. It was just, um, it was almost magical seeing those lingerie pieces lined up and knowing that I would get one of those that would be perfect for me. That, that and, one would be perfect. And we did find that. Um, <laughs> so um, is lingerie something that you have worn recently or that you purchased for yourself? It is not something that I indulge in very often. Okay. But I can see that in my future changing. Okay, good. Um, so when you were trying on the lingerie and um, you were seeing how the pieces looked on you, how did that make you feel? It was a little shocking to look in the mirror and see the, the real me standing there. Um, I wasn't really prepared for that to the first look in the mirror uh, because I don't look at myself in that way normally when I get dressed in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I don't usually take a second look. Um, so this required more than one look to, to <laughs> source out what was yeah. best. <laughs> Yeah, I think that, honestly, that is such a great way for women to feel better about themselves if they do take a closer look in the mirror and look for all the good instead of looking for all the flaws and pay attention to that. And I think that lingerie has a way of doing that that nothing else does, really. So um, fast forward a little bit to... Um, when you came in for your session, uh, for your mini session that day, when you were getting ready to um, try and put that piece of lingerie that was the perfect fit for you um, back on, um, you shared something very emotional with me. So if you wouldn't mind, just try and relive in that a little bit. Sure. Um, I uh, walked away from the initial uh, lingerie selection process with my shoulders were a little straighter. I felt a little more, and I'm I'm emotional and thinking about it. I felt a little more in control of me. Um, and it was just very the the uh, the questions that you ask were very thought provoking. Asked me to look at myself in a different way than I normally do. And the lingerie try-on was just, I mean, that last piece was the perfect piece. So <laughs> it kind of topped it all off. Um, but I, I drove home a different person that day. That's so amazing. And I am curious if that feeling has stayed with you. Yes. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I love it. I love hearing that. I love hearing that. So um, let's chat a little bit about the session itself. Uh, when I was photographing you, it was a mini session. So there was women coming and going. It was a little chaotic, but still very much a, um, a feminine empowerment experience for everyone who was there. So share a little bit about what that was like for you. That was incredibly empowering. The setting was beautiful. The flowers were gorgeous. 
um, and your assistants were just absolutely spot on, lovely people. And I knew that everybody there was doing their very best job. And part of that job was to make me feel comfortable. And I could tell that. I could tell that the attention to detail was 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 spot on as well. Everything, every little thing was thought out. And your instructions for posing, um, spot on as well. I could follow those. So mm -hmm. it was. I didn't feel any chaos myself. I felt I like guess it was just me. <laughs> It was very organized, I felt like, and everybody knew where they were supposed to be and what they were supposed to be doing, and it, it ran like a well-oiled machine. Um, okay. No hiccups that I could see. Um, everything was positive. Um, any little mishaps that, that might have been um, something were just handled beautifully. <laughs> Oh, great. Thank you. That, that makes me feel so good to know that that's how it was perceived. And that's always my goal, always to make women feel safe and comfortable and welcomed and beautiful. That's kind of the whole point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the experience and going through all this, um, what, what do you do in your profession? What is it that you do? Um, I uh, aspire to be the very best pet sitter that you could possibly hire. Um, and I do a pretty good job at that. Uh, I have a mundane job um, in a deli, and I love that job as well. Um, and I'm an author. Uh, first book will go out in June. Awesome. So um, I just, I find every day I try to find a reason to find the joy find joy somewhere in my day so so what inspired you to want to do to do this kind of session what kind of what was the thing that brought you in I I had seen your work before it's absolutely gorgeous and um I'm a breast cancer survivor I'm also I like to say a mental health survivor um because I've had some days where they were just you know life just didn't look so good um, but I managed to survive through all of that. I'm thriving now. I have uh, written a chapter in a book that was published last year. I spoke on a stage. I've done a lot of big steps. It was time to celebrate myself and to celebrate for all those little inside, those little children inside of us that need a celebration, to celebrate for all of those those reasons and just because I'm worth it and I deserve it. You absolutely do. <laughs> you absolutely do. So now that you've gone through the entire experience, or oh, let me show you, I want to show you the um, one of the edited files. I'm going to share my screen if I can get that going here. So oh my goodness. When you, when you see this, what comes to mind? How does it make you feel? I was talking to my therapist about this today. <laughs> Moments of joy are so spontaneous, but they are they're an intimate experience for me. It's just me and whatever it is that has brought me joy. And this is an expression of what I feel like that joy looks like. And you captured it perfectly. What I do is reflect it back to you because this is all you it's always the woman in front of me that I am pulling out the best part of you, the best version of you, letting that shine, letting it come out, giving you the space and the um, opportunity to share it in a welcomed, non-judgmental, 
environment of all women who are there to uplift you. And this is the result. Amazing. It's I beautiful. Mean, I, I love it. So I wanted to, let's see if I can fix this now back to just us, maybe. Okay. One more time. Just going to go back to you. And maybe I can't. <laughs> you know, technology. Um, well, let's close with what you would say to uh, a woman who is considering doing a session like this, um, what would you want to share with her about making that investment in herself? Because not it. only is investment in financially, but it's an investment emotionally as well as you were so eloquently describing. So. I would say do it. Do it, do whatever you need to do to do it. Put it on your your goal list for the year. And if it doesn't happen, put it on it for the next year and just keep doing it because it really, it really was transformational. And the thought that went through my mind at one point was, I don't know if I'll ever do this again, but I'm in front of the camera right now. And how, how do I want to get out of this? Do I want to hide? Or do I want to do it? And I took a deep breath and leaned into it. And it's an investment in yourself that is not about money. It's It goes so much deeper than that. So I would say just do it. Get a piggy bank started or use that credit card and just do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. I love that. I love that. Wow, Lucinda, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I know this is a very vulnerable and personal thing. And I, I'm so um, honored that you allowed me to share this with the world because you're beautiful. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can stop the share and we will move on and we will talk to you again soon. Okay. Bye.